Hello everyone, Val well here and welcome back to AVP2. It's been a quite a while since I last played this. And last I commented it does. This particular video right now playing is has been sitting on the uh, cutting room floor for about a month or so. Not exactly a month, more like two and a half weeks. Ish. Hurry up, Frosty. We ain't got all day. Don't you have work to do? Everybody's waiting on you. Heck, I even prepped your gear for you. Isn't that nice of me? Thanks, Duke. I'll remember who's asked to pull out of the fire first when everything goes to hell. Duke, we have an operation to run here. Quit flirting and get back to work. Commander on the deck? Gather round and listen up. Six weeks ago, the Wayland yutani Corporation lost contact with a research facility on LV-1201. We're here to find out why. Duke, what are we looking at? A suicide mission. Hell, we're still short eight soldiers and our synthetic after that last drop. Half our equipment's out of commission. There's time pressure involved, and we won the distance lottery. Skip the commentary and tell us what we're dealing with. The basic layout is two heavily fortified installations. Primary operations complex and forward observation pods. The sites are connected by a secure tunnel network. Johnson, flight plan. Not much to work with, sir. I vote for an airstrike, sir. Negative. The higher-ups want the site intact, survivors or not. We're cleared for light and medium munitions, but no heavy stuff. That means no airstrikes and no Alice. Sorry, Harrison. We're supposed to evac survivors? Our orders are to put out fires, then dig in and wait for the 6th. Assuming we last that long. Beta section will remain here until the ground position is secure. All right, boys, let's roll. Johnson, where the hell did you learn to fly? Flight school. The same place that taught me not to fly blind in hurricane winds. What'll it take to get airborne? A landing beacon and wind shear data for a start. Plus the ship's a little beat up. Stabilizer's jammed. I can fix it, but it'll take me an hour or so. The antenna's fried, though. So much for calling down reinforcements. Once we control the complex, we'll control an entire subspace array. Hall, red team, get the power online. White team, locate security control. Blackwell, you take Shugi and Harrison and make for the landing bay. We need that wind shear radar up and the landing site clear and powered. Once you've done that, activate the beacon. You heard the man. Move it. And now we finally get to playing this. I'm doing this post commentary. Yes, I wasn't feeling it doing it live. At the time I was recording this. So. And I keep doing these videos in English just to uh, keep the uh, practice up. You know? Plus, I want to keep some kind of diversity with the uh, content I have. Some play throughs in English, some in Finnish. Might be a bit of a problem for the English side for us. I got movement. But, well. Harrison, scout ahead, we'll cover you. And in this particular episode, nothing will happen until the end. This is mostly just the mood setting. It's a bit annoying. And I, why did I think to look at the uh, options here? I don't remember. Maybe because I forgot something? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what the button was for the flashlight. Yes. Blackwell report. There was an explosion. I think we lost Harrison. Negative. I'm still reading normal life signs. 
Maybe his transmitter got knocked out. Sir, there's no way we're getting through this rubble. Understood. Fall back to the LZ. Harrison, if you can hear me, head for the POC and get the power online, or we're in big trouble. Yeah. So there really isn't anything common down here because there's mostly just loot, etc. that the uh, video is a little bit too dark. Let's, let's do some after effects on it. The directly after effects is something to correct the brightness. Because it will be a bit too dark for the rest of the viewers. Blot. I think the marine campaign is the uh, one of the uh, more intense ones for multiple. Reasons. One, you're just the guy with the gun. To the aliens on the normal difficulty will kill you almost instantly <laughs> if you don't know which one to shoot first. Major McCain, we've reached the southeast entrance. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Security systems are offline. We're picking up some scattered energy sources, probably emergency backups. Still no response on the emergency channel, sir. Keep trying. All proceed to the power core. Yes, sir. And the uh, start of the uh, Marine campaign is a bit of a slow burner. Then it becomes a bit hectic and then it has these twists and turns. Which are a bit annoying. I know there is a back uh, expansion disc, if you can call it that. Called the uh, Primal Hunt. Too bad I don't have it. But then again, let me introduce a couple of more levels to... Uh, each label campaign and dual pistols for the marine and that's about it plus one new campaign for the Predalian 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 something within those lines this is the entire uh, first part this is the first part, the unwelcome okay. guests. Duke is restarting the system. I had one uh, so viewer commentate and watch these videos commentate on it. I made some couple errors sector. here and there. The it might be because this is... ...suffered so many bunch of cuts, this... ...game suffered so many budget cuts because it was made by Monolith and they had some financial issues at the moment. So they had to cut off some parts of the story. So there are some things that are referred in this story that are not entirely explained that kind of leave uh, these minor plot holes. But they're only minor. Those who wish the uh, whole story and I'm thinking of finding it in some place over the internet. It's the whole story. The uncut version. But don't ask me about it. It's only on It certainly is a fun way to restart the campaign series. One of the uh, slightly more boring levels in a video game. I don't really like mo these kind of long mood setting areas. They just are this gold 
point A to point B, suffer some mild jump scares, uh, but after seeing them for more than three times, they become very, very, very boring. Then get to the action part. Yeah. A couple of minutes ish, not entirely sure. Somewhere in the. Uh, between the 16 minute and the. Uh, 21 and a half, somewhere around there. Somewhere between 16 minutes to the end. That's about it. Well, what else to explain here? Because the um, marine campaign and AVP2 has generally become rather boring. But because the marine campaign is the more intense one, I think I might try to get some videos up from it rather soon. Or then again, I might play Series Sam 2 because I've been sidetracked so many times and I want to continue those series again. Kind of like a minor. Uh, in quotes, rotation of videos. Plus, I think I have a better voice than your generic quest player. Might be a bit egotistical, but fucking deal with it. Um. Then I'm seriously thinking about playing some other games. I got the theme hospital there. Right. I might Hold continue. I'm gonna be out of that. Then again, I might change the uh, spoken language to English, and then I might make some subtitles. Kind of like in the middle, and I still haven't figured out what to do with it. But then again, if I request some comments on what I should do with it, people just stay silent. Why? I don't know. I don't have the most uh, active audience. Well, then again. I like appealing to a small crowd because it would be a large crowd. I might get a bit agitated. Grenade launcher! A certified way to get yourself killed. Okay, so now I have a pistol, pulse rifle, and a grenade launcher. And the knife. I wouldn't suggest using the grenade launcher because it is, as I said, a certified way to get yourself killed. And again with the dark corridors. Whenever there's an aliens game, there's always dark corridors. I'm waiting and hoping that the new aliens game uh, Colonial Marines, yeah, Colonial Marines it was. New Aliens game isn't as bad as some other games have recently been. Junction of corridor made. 1C and 1D. Uh, I totally clear. lost the train Signs of thought here. Let me see if I can try to catch it. Probably frag grenades. I'm not mm. seeing bodies. Yeah. I totally hope that the new Aliens game is going to be a lot better than, uh, let's say, the... Uh, it's a good comparison, let's say, the AVP movies, because those things were horrible. I also heard that the games made out of those were horrible as well. In my opinion, the uh, no way. decent games, though, that are the Aliens games is... Hey, it's yeah, PC boat. games. Two of them. AVP 1 and AVP 2. Unfortunately, I only played two. I think I'm trying to find the AVP 1 somewhere. Hey, slow down I think there, it's Duke. somewhere on Steam, but it's going to be a bit of a problem trying to get it running. Because I'd rather buy stuff right now. I'd rather buy it from GOG.com 
because those guys actually spend some time getting those games working. Although, those games that are made working aren't exactly the best versions of said games. As a small example, I might make some. I might give the uh, Rayman games on GOG right now. Because they're both kind of lackluster PC ports. Compared to the P complete com compared to the uh, PlayStation games. Now, if I had a capture card, I'd just show you what I mean by it. But actually, I don't. I know where is. Uh, let's not go explain something else because I believe in about a few minutes. Yeah, in about a minute, I think it's gonna be a massive shootout. Yeah. Yeah? 16? Yeah, I was very close. I remembered almost correctly. And now... The shooting begins. This is the one action part. This is very intense because this is the start. Change the pistol. Because the pistol is a bit more safer way of shooting these things because it doesn't have the underslung uh, grenade launcher. Which, if you get the jump scared, it's a nice butcher style. You might actually be able to press the uh, second mouse button and shoot the grenade and blow you ass up. something in here, but I didn't remember what it was. That was armor. Oh, that's good. The video will end in about a couple of minutes. So I'm guessing there really isn't anything else to say because my incoherent commentating style is getting a little bit bored. And so am I. This is the one run I've got. Done. Not particularly 
Sorry. gone. <laughs> I actually noticed the mom was gone rather late in the level when I was getting out. Which was a bit hectic. And that's about it for the first. I always wanted to drive one of these. Level. That's it for the first level, and it sounds like the objective marker got stuck. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, well, that was it for AVP2, the uh, first part in the Marine campaign. Hope you enjoyed it, and there will be more soon. This has been Malvinite, signing off.